Hello, St. Mark's. It is good to be with you again. I'm Steve Couch, and I'm coming with today's devotion. I have been contemplating <clears throat> some of the changes of the past two years, especially those that most affect me, and grousing and grouching some about them, which has taken away from having an attitude of gratitude about the many blessings that God has provided during the same time, which are enormous. So change can be difficult for many of us to handle, more so as we get older and more adaptive and accustomed to the way things are and have been. There are rating scales for assessing the effects of stress on your life, and all of them involve mostly counting and describing how much and how many and how drastic are the changes in our lives. I once heard a Christian speaker say that his image of heaven was not of a different place, but that we become transformed into embracing and enjoying constant change. We often, at least I try, to keep our burdens to ourselves, to solve things by myself. And sometimes I'll remember the words of Jesus as in Matthew 13, 30, 28 and 29. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So in times of change, and in stressful times, in expected change of life, which are inevitable with time, let us remember that God is in control of this world, and we can celebrate that. Um, even if it's not comfortable. As Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, and 18, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And then my final thought is as Paul says in Colossians three fifteen, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, so as members, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Let us pray. Lord, thanks for what you have given us, for being with us, for protecting us from disasters untold and unknown. Let us be peaceful and carry on our purpose to glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen. It was good to see you and have a great day.